Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I uh, want to give you an overview of running um, Prepared on the Dream Package. Um, prepared is by Lockheed Martin. Essentially, at least in my opinion, that what they've done is they've taken Microsoft Flight Sim and they sort of souped it up and added some better you know, graphics and so forth. But essentially, in my opinion, it's, you know, Microsoft Flight Sim under the covers with a, uh, a lot of the, you know, graphical stuff updated, more um, of the special features of the, that the new graphics cards can use, and also more planes. There are more planes to choose from in uh, prepared. So, in general, it's probably an overall improvement of Microsoft Flight Sim and kind of trumps it. So, just wanted to show, this is kind of a demo of it on our Titanium system which is also the same system that powers our dream package, which I'm in front of right now. You see the plane that we're flying here? It's a Baron, which is probably one of my favorite planes to fly. It looks nice, of course. You see our scenery is looking very nice. I'm a little all over the place with this uh, hat switch. Let's get back in the airplane. And then, of course, you can... Uh, Zoom in and out is whatever you think looks best. You know, that's probably too zoomed out and, you know, that's obviously too zoomed in. So somewhere in between is kind of the sweet spot. And you can use your hat switch and you can look down at your instruments or you can look out the sides. You know, you do obviously get a pretty wide forward view, but if you truly want to see all the way to the side, you can actually see a little bit kind of over your shoulder behind you if you use the hat switch and look all around. So let's look at another plane. Oh, by the way, we're over New York, so this is kind of a worst case scenario when it comes to um, scenery. Um, it's a very difficult area to draw. So let's select another plane. That was a Baron. We'll do the King Air. So here we are inside the King Air. Go around a little bit. Get an outside view of the King Air. And then let's go select one more other plane. How about the Bonanza with some stripes? Put us back inside the plane here. So here we are in a Bonanza. looking out at all of our nice scenery. So that's the Bonanza. See if there's anything else we want to try. Of course they have some fancy stuff like the F-22, um, which is a little unrealistic unless, you know, that's pure fantasy if you want to fly that. Uh, the old, good old Piper Cub, we got some helicopters, the T-6 trainers, um, some more helicopters. Let's do the Mooney Acclaim with the G-1000. And of course, there's just like with X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim, there are add-on planes that you can buy. Um, you know, if, if the plane you want isn't included. And there's the outside of the plane. Notice it renders it individually, piece by piece. That's a tower view. Obviously, we're kind of far from the tower. And now we're back inside. And, you know, if you want to zoom right in on that panel, you can on the G1000. And, you know, you can zoom back out. And then uh, that's probably too far zoomed out. And then, you know, you can look all around, just like with the other planes, using the hat switch. Probably need to zoom in a little bit. So there you go. I mean, the performance is really nice. Um, I pretty much turned every slider up, and it's, it's doing great. So um, if you want to use prepared, you can. Uh, as you know, we're a, we prefer X-Plane here, but in certain scenarios, you may find that um, X-Plane can't do one of the things you want it to do, and you have prepared as an option.